What's up you guys, welcome back. And uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a fade with the cheapest combo. This is the protege combo. Wow. All right, so first thing we gotta do, let's open it up and let's get it set up. All right, let's check and see how this is zero gap. Yeah, we're gonna move that up a little bit. Well, that one's not bad. I think we're gonna move that up a little bit too. As far as what you get in the box, you get some guards. These are the single magnetic guards and you get your charger cables. Now, if you decide to go with the step up from this, which is the hitter, you're gonna get a stand, some lids, and a couple extra things. But this is all business. All right, it's dead. So we gotta charge these. This one's working. But we're gonna charge these up and we'll get them going. Okay, so while we're sitting here, I got these charging. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set these real quick. We're going to take off this top blade and I'm going to do the same thing with the flipper. But basically, we got to set that bottom blade a little bit closer. We're going to loosen up these two bolts. Just like that. I like that. Okay, make sure the blade didn't twist or turn on you. So that looks really good. That's a good set. That's not going to be too high. That's going to cut close and it's nice and straight. These two blades got to be parallel with one another. Otherwise, it's not going to cut good, uh, especially with the trimmers. When you're putting the top blade back on, don't tighten them too much. Just snug them a little bit. They don't got to be crazy tight. Uh, it'll perform a little bit better. So now let's do the clipper. Clipper is going to be really easy. We're just going to loosen these two bolts just a little bit. Don't have to be crazy loose. We don't have to take this off. That's what's great about these. Now you're going to notice the blade moves a little bit. Kind of hard to see it. That is a good set if it'll stay still. A lot of times it'll move on you, so you gotta be careful when you tighten this. Just tighten them a little bit at a time. Now that's a nice set. Nice set. Okay, you guys, these are ready to cut some hair. Let's go. When I get close to that line, when I get close to that line, I'm gonna stop and start flicking out, okay? I'm gonna throw a little bit of hairspray in right on the part, because it can be really hard to cut his part, so this will just help hold it still and uh, make it easier for when I put the line in. Next step, we're gonna take the clipper, we're gonna put it in the open position all the way up. And uh, I'm just gonna set in my guideline, all right? Open saber guideline. Just wanted about the width of the finger. All right, so you want to make sure your line's the same all the way around, uh, that it's parallel with the other line, because this is kind of like the real foundation of your blend. Uh, so if it looks about the same, and then you're good to go on to your next step. So for the top, he doesn't really want the top cut, so I'm going to use a little bit of clipper over comb to blend this out. Uh, my favorite comb to do it with, I'll put it in the description, is, is this comb. And uh, of course, if you guys need to check out my full video on clipper over comb, the link in the description, and I'll post it right here. So for now, I'm just going to tip it out, and I'm just going to get rid of some of that weight. That's it, I was just looking to soften that up a little bit. Looks better, now we can get to our next step. Number one, clip on, clippers in the open position. So push your lever down all the way, and uh, here we go. Same thing, we're going up about a finger's width. So on this side, I did a one and a half at the very top. Uh, so this one open, it really should blend pretty good into this side.
Alright, now I'm gonna close this number one. I'm gonna close this number one down. So that means I got the clipper all the way in the closed position. Boom. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to clean up this little uh, faint line. Now if that don't do it, we can always open it up a little bit too. Play with your lever and uh, see if you can get this little line out. Okay, so now it's time we attack that skin line. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna close this clipper all the way. Uh, that way it cuts the closest. I zero gapped it and I should be able to get the skin line out. And if not, we can always go back to the trimmer. Let's try it. So with it all the way closed, I'm just gonna flick right at the bottom, right at the line that we were at. All right, so now I'm gonna open it about halfway, two clicks. That's what's great about this clipper is these clicks really let you know where you are. You go up until I hear it cut something. All right, I'm gonna go almost all the way open, just back one click. the half guard on, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open it halfway to start with and then I'm going to close it down as needed. That's looking good. We'll finish the rest with some shear over comb on that side. Clipper in the closed position, and there we go. So flick at that line. Now you can see his grain, his grain is kind of growing this way a little more on this side. Uh, so I'm going to try to catch the grain to the ground. Spotting those green patterns can save you a lot of time. See, I can tell right there is going to be a little, little bit of a trouble spot. That's all right. I'm going to finish off the back too um, with this step. That way we can just move right on. Okay, again, we're gonna go down two clicks. And go up and let it cut. Keep that clipper on the angle of the grain. Half guard back on, and we're gonna go down two clicks right in the hat. So one, two, boom.
pretty natural for you to get a little bit of a dark spot right here because that's like where the head concaves. So just a little bit of jumping back and forth around here, just detailing. I always have trouble with all my trimmers usually have a little bit of trouble doing this line on his hair for some reason. So uh, uh, spray that off a little bit. I say that made a pretty good line. I'm not even com I'm not even gonna complain about that. Uh, when I go back, I'll clean that up with the razor. It don't gotta be perfect, I just gotta get it in there. So being that he wants to leave the top alone, uh, let's do his edge up real quick. Just like whenever I use my trimmer, I try to use a little bit of spray just to make it a little easier. While we wait for it to dry, I'll just I'll just clean up his eyebrows real quick. I like to take a number one, put it in the open position. This will get rid of all the long ones. And come back with my Essence razor. This razor is like super easy to uh, backhand with. And uh, I just like to backhand off that corner. All right, now that it's dry, I'm not trying to get into his hairline too much. I just want to clean this up a little bit. We're not like gonna obsess about making this perfectly straight because some of this hair is gonna fall down on his forehead. I just want it to be reasonably straight. step that I love to make with these hard parts is I like to take a little shear work right up to the top and make sure that none of these hairs are going to stick out and make my line look bad. And then the other one is uh, getting down on this on this sort of angle and looking to see if any of these hairs give me any trouble. And I'll cut them. If anything sticks out, let's get cut off. All right, I'm hitting with some 245 no drip just in the front. All you gotta do is pour it straight in your gun. No mixing, no nothing. Uh, actually, this is Onyx Black. I don't wanna use that. Thankfully, none came out. I'm gonna use Black Brown. Boom, just a tiny bit. And then I always clean my gun, which means that there's probably a little bit of alcohol or water left in it. So I'm gonna spray it out onto here until I see. Okay, it's coming out good. It's not splattering because 245 is really good like that. Like it don't splatter. All right, grab one of my color cards and let's put a little bit in. Right up under his hair, so that I get the line. 
I'm gonna use a little spider wax. Uh, that's from level three. This stuff is awesome. But one of the reasons why they call it spider wax is like, look, I put this on my hands and I pull it apart. It kind of creates like, watch a little spider wax. But more importantly, it'll give this some excellent hold, but it keeps the hair real pliable. That's why I like this product. This will get it up off his face. We can double check and make sure his edge up is still good. With this collar now. There's a little freehand shear work in the collar just to get rid of some of them ones that just don't want to go. And these awesome combs uh, that were sent to me by Gamma just kind of clumps the hair together a little bit and makes it have a really cool, really cool kind of look to it. So now that I got all the hair off of his uh, front of his edge, it's a good time to like kind of revisit the edge a little bit and uh, see if there's any long ones that are not up and going with the flow like they are right here. Perfect time to just make those little adjustments. Also, they have the magnetic charging option, which is awesome, the micro USB, and you simply would just plug a magnetic button in there, and boom, you got magnetic charging. And the same goes for the Protege. You could plug a little magnet in there, just like this one has it, and you got yourself some magnetic charging. All right, you guys, don't sleep on this little combo, man. I cut hair all day with these. Uh, other than the initial charge that I did in the morning, I have not charged these. They both have four hours of runtime, and I don't know, there's something special about this Protege trimmer. It's so gentle and it cuts so good. Dare I say, it cuts better than the hitter. Just thinking out loud here, but this one cuts so good with the blade that it comes on and everything. And a lot of you guys ask about the taper blade. This one comes with a taper blade, and it's just fantastic because the top blades on these gammas are so thin. Even though it's a taper blade, it cuts pretty damn close, and I rarely need to go back and use really anything else. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is Full Send Blends. That's the new name that we're going with, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. All right, you guys, today's video, barbers need to stop. These are 10 things that barbers need to stop doing in order to be more successful. And the first one, stop making excuses. As if your decisions are in somebody else's hands, all right? It's you. It's you who's holding yourself back. It's you who's stopping you from working out. It's you who's stopping you from getting more clients. It's you who's stopping you from getting to work early. It's you who's making yourself leave work early. It's you. You are the reason that all these things are happening to you. And to believe otherwise, to believe it's the shop, to believe it's to blame it on all the circumstances, to blame it on the economy, to blame it on everybody else, well, ain't that fucking convenient. That just gets you off the hook, don't it? But. External factors do not control your success, and if they do, you'll never be successful. On to the next one.